Welcome everybody in this video we will be learning about mean value theorems so today now we will be learning about generalized mean value theorems so the first is Taylor's theorem with Lagrange's form of remainder so let me define it let fx be a function which is defined in the closed interval a comma a plus h now here we have replaced b with a plus h where h is a very small value such that number one n minus one -th derivative that is f of n minus 1 is continuous in the closed interval a comma a plus h number 2 nth derivative that is f of n is derivable that is, is exists in the open interval a comma a plus h so from this then there exists at least one number theta where theta is 0 less than theta less than 1 such that f of a plus h will be equals to f of a plus f of sorry h times f dash a plus a square upon 2 factorial f double dash a plus up to h n minus 1 h to the power n minus 1 upon n minus 1 factorial f of n minus 1 a plus r n so R n where R n will be equals to h to the power n upon n factorial f derivative f n of a plus theta h this R n is called Lagrange's form of remainder after n terms so the coach, uh, so the Taylor's theorem with Lagrange's form of remainder is f of a plus h is equal to f of a plus uh, h times f dash a so this series get repeated up to r of r n where r n this must be remembered uh, h to the power n upon n factorial f n derivative a plus theta h so this is our Taylor's theorem with Lagrange's form of remainder so now let us move on to our second form Taylor's theorem with Cauchy's form of remainder this is slightly different but almost similar to the previous one so let me again define it let fx be a function defined on the closed interval a comma a plus h such that n minus 1 it derivative that is f n minus 1 is continuous in the closed interval a comma a plus h number 2 the n derivative that is fn exists 
in open interval a plus a comma a plus h so from this then there exists at least one number that is theta where theta lies 0 to less than 1 such that f of a plus h is equals to f of a plus h f dash a plus a square 2 factorial f double dash a this gets continuous then h to, h to the power n minus 1 upon n minus 1 factorial f n minus 1 a plus r n now where r n is equals to h to the power n n minus 1 factorial times 1 minus theta n minus 1 to the power n minus 1 times f derivative fn a plus theta h so this is this rn is called the Cauchy's form of remainder remainder after n terms so this is very big you have to remember it very precisely so these two were the Taylor's theorem in Lagrange's form of remainder and in Cauchy's form of remainder. So if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.